Good morning, Mr. Reynolds. I appreciate the opportunity to discuss our company strategies for the upcoming year. I have been giving it a lot of thought, and I believe there are some areas I can suggest to make significant improvements. Good morning, Sarah. I am glad to hear that you are proactive and invested in our company's success. Please go ahead and share your suggestions. First and foremost, I think it is essential for us to prioritize digital transformation. The world is becoming increasingly digital, and we need to ensure that we stay competitive. I suggest we invest in upgrading our technology infrastructure and consider implementing more automation in our processes. That is a valid point, Sarah. Digital transformation is critical in today's business landscape. Can you provide more specifics on which areas or processes we should focus on for automation? Certainly, Mr. Reynolds. I believe we should start with our sales and customer relationship management systems, automating routine tasks like data entry, lead tracking, and customer follow-ups can significantly improve efficiency and free up our sales team to focus on building relationships. That sounds like a practical approach. Let's explore the costs and benefits of such automation and develop a clear implementation plan. What else can you suggest? I also suggest we diversify our product offerings. Our current product line is solid, but we could expand into related markets or offer complementary services to our existing customers. This not only increases our revenue streams, but also reduces the risk associated with depending on a single product or market. Diversification is a strategy I have been considering as well. Have you identified any specific areas or industries where we could potentially expand? I recommend conducting a market analysis to identify niches where our expertise and resources could be applied effectively. It might be beneficial to form a task force to explore new opportunities and assess their feasibility. Market analysis is a sensible first step. Let's initiate that and also consider the potential need for partnerships or acquisitions in these new areas. What is your next suggestion? In terms of marketing, I believe we should allocate a larger budget for online advertising and social media campaigns. With the majority of our target audience spending time online, we can reach them more effectively through targeted digital marketing strategies. Agreed. We will need to set clear objectives for our online marketing efforts and measure their impact on our brand visibility and lead generation. Please prepare a proposal for the budget increase and the associated campaigns. I will work on that, Mr. Reynolds. Finally, I would like to emphasize the importance of talent development within the company. We should invest in training and development programs to nurture the skills and capabilities of our employees. A well-trained workforce can lead to greater innovation and productivity. Employee development is crucial for our long-term success. Let's explore the types of training programs and resources we can offer to our team to help them grow in their roles. Thank you for considering my suggestions, Mr. Reynolds. I firmly believe that by implementing these strategies, we can position our company for a successful year ahead. Sarah, I appreciate your initiative and thoughtful approach. Your suggestions are well-founded and I am looking forward to seeing your detailed plans for each of these strategies. Would you elaborate on each of your suggestions in more detail? Certainly, Ms. Reynolds. Let me elaborate on each of these suggestions in more detail. Digital transformation. In today's business environment, digital transformation is vital for staying competitive. Our first focus 
should be on upgrading our technology infrastructure. We can invest in modernizing our IT systems, including hardware and software, to ensure they are up to date and can support our business needs efficiently. This upgrade would enhance data security and system reliability, reducing downtime and potential data breaches. Regarding automation, I suggest we begin with our sales and customer relationship management systems. Automating these areas will involve the implementation of customer relationship management or CRM software, which will streamline lead management, communication tracking, and data entry. This automation will reduce human error, improve data accuracy, and allow our sales team to focus on building and maintaining valuable customer relationships. Diversification Expanding our product offerings is a multifaceted strategy. We should start by identifying related markets or industries where our core competencies can be leveraged effectively. For example, if we are currently in the software development industry, we might consider diversifying into software-related services, consulting, or even hardware that complements our current offerings. To implement this strategy, we could create a task force consisting of key members from various departments, including research and development, sales and marketing. This task force will be responsible for conducting market research, identifying potential opportunities, and assessing the financial feasibility of each option. Digital Marketing our digital marketing strategy involves a more significant budget allocation for online advertising and social media campaigns. To create an effective digital marketing plan, we will begin by setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound SMART objectives. These objectives will serve as key performance indicators or KPIs to measure the success of our campaigns. Next, we will identify the appropriate digital channels, whether it is search engine advertising, social media platforms, or email marketing to target our audience effectively. We will develop compelling contents and creatives that resonate with our target customers, keeping our brand values and messaging consistent. Talent development. Investing in our employees is vital for the growth and innovation of our company. We can establish training and development programs that cater to the specific needs and skills of our employees. These programs may include workshops, courses, certifications, or mentorship opportunities tailored to individual roles and career development paths. To measure the impact of these programs, we should track employee performance, engagement, and satisfaction before and after the training. A well-trained and motivated workforce is more likely to contribute innovative ideas, enhance productivity, and stay loyal to the company. I believe that by implementing these strategies with a clear plan of action and commitment, we can navigate the challenges and take our company to new heights of the upcoming year. Thank you. Sarah, for providing a more detailed explanation of your suggestions. I would like to offer some additional insights and suggestions regarding each of these strategies you explained. Digital Transformation 1. As we embark on the journey of digital transformation, consider forming a dedicated task force that includes IT experts, business analysts, and project managers. This team can oversee the transformation process, ensuring a well-structured and coordinated effort. Two. Regarding automation in sales and CRM, let's begin with a comprehensive audit of our current processes to identify the most suitable areas for automation. This will help us prioritize tasks that will yield the most significant efficiency gains. Diversification 1. When exploring new markets or industries, let's conduct a SOAT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, to evaluate the potential risks and advantages of each option. This analysis will help us make informed decisions about where to allocate our resources. 
2. For the task force responsible for diversification, ensure it has representation from different departments, including finance, marketing, and R&D, to bring diverse perspectives to the table. Digital Marketing 1. When increasing our budget for online advertising, let's consider a phased approach. We can start with a moderate budget increase to test the waters and gradually scale up as we see positive results. 2. Develop a content calendar to ensure a consistent flow of engaging content across our digital channels. This will help maintain audience engagement and interest over the long term. Talent Development 1. In creating our training and development programs, it is important to align them with our company's strategic goals and the skills required for future growth. Ensure that these programs directly contribute to achieving our broader objectives. 2. Consider implementing a mentorship program where seasoned employees can guide and mentor their colleagues, sharing their expertise and helping new employees acclimate to our company culture. These additional suggestions are meant to provide more clarity and direction as we move forward with your proposed strategies. Let's integrate these insights into our planning, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or need further guidance on implementation. Thank you very much Mr. Reynolds. I totally agree with your suggestions to improve the strategies I explained. I hope we can implement the strategies well for our company's success. You're very welcome, Sarah. I hope so. Good afternoon, Salsa. I wanted to discuss the upcoming collaborative community service project on the island outside the province. I have been reviewing your plans and I have a few suggestions that might help make it a more successful and impactful experience. Good afternoon, Professor Martinez. I am open to any suggestions that can improve our project. What do you have in mind? First, let's consider the local community's immediate needs. Have you conducted a thorough needs assessment on the island? It is important to understand their unique challenges and requirements before developing our project. You are right, Professor. We need to gather more data about the community's needs. I will make sure our team conducts a comprehensive survey to identify their priorities. Excellent Salsa! That will provide a solid foundation for our project. Second, I recommend establishing strong partnerships with local organizations and community leaders on the island. They can help guide us and provide valuable insights into the community dynamics. That is a great idea. We have already made some initial contacts, but I will make sure we strengthen those relationships and involve them in our planning process. Wonderful! Collaborating with local stakeholders is key to sustainable community service. Next, let's address the logistics. Have you considered the transportation and accommodation arrangements for your team during the project? We have been looking into transportation, but we have not finalized the details yet. As for accommodation, we were planning on camping, but we need to ensure it is both safe and comfortable. For transportation, make sure you have a reliable and flexible plan, especially considering the remote location. You might also explore any government or non-profit partnerships that can assist with the transportation. Regarding accommodation, safety is paramount, so check local regulations and consider options like community centers or partnering with local families who can provide lodging. I will make those adjustments to our plans, Professor. Safety and comfort are essential for a successful project. What else do you suggest? Let's not forget about cultural sensitivity. Given the remote location, it is crucial to respect and adapt to the local culture. Have you prepared a cultural awareness training program for your team? We had not considered that, but it is an excellent point. We need to understand and respect the local customs and traditions. I will include cultural sensitivity training in our pre-departure preparations. That is great to hear. 
Cultural awareness will help build trust and positive relationship with the community. Would you explain the importance of cultural awareness in detail, Professor? Cultural awareness is a crucial aspect of interpersonal communication, business interactions, and social integration. It refers to the ability to recognize, understand, and appreciate the values, beliefs, customs, behaviors, and practices of people from different cultures. Here are several reasons why cultural awareness is important. First, promotes effective communication. Cultural awareness enhances communication by fostering a deeper understanding of the subtle nuances in language, nonverbal cues, and contextual meanings. Misunderstandings and misinterpretations are minimized, leading to more effective and meaningful exchanges. Second, fosters respect and tolerance. Being culturally aware promotes respect for diversity. It encourages individuals to appreciate and tolerate differences, reducing the likelihood of stereotyping, prejudice, and discrimination. This, in turn, contributes to the creation of inclusive and harmonious environments. The third strengthens interpersonal relationships. In personal and professional relationships, understanding and respecting cultural differences can strengthen connections. It builds trust and rapport as people feel acknowledged and valued for their unique perspectives and backgrounds. Fourth, global business success. In the globalized world of business, cultural awareness is essential for success. Companies with employees who understand and respect diverse cultural practices are better positioned to navigate international markets, build strong partnerships, and avoid cultural faux pas that could hinder business relationships. Fifth, enhances cross-cultural teamwork. In workplaces with diverse teams, cultural awareness is crucial for effective collaboration. It helps team members appreciate each other's contributions, adapt communication styles, and find common ground leading to increased productivity and creativity. Sixth, cultural competence in healthcare. In the healthcare sector, cultural awareness is vital for providing patient-centered care, understanding cultural preferences, beliefs, and practices enables healthcare professionals to offer more sensitive and relevant services, improving patient outcomes and satisfaction. Seventh, facilitates education and learning. Cultural awareness is integral to education. It broadens perspectives, encourages critical thinking, and fosters a more inclusive learning environment. It also helps educators tailor their teaching methods to accommodate diverse learning styles and cultural backgrounds. Eighth, promotes cultural exchange and diplomacy. Cultural awareness plays a pivotal role in international relations and diplomacy. It facilitates positive interactions between nations, promotes mutual understanding, and reduces the likelihood of conflicts arising from cultural misunderstandings. Ninth, preservation of cultural heritage. Understanding and appreciating different cultures contribute to the preservation of cultural heritage. It helps prevent the erosion of traditional practices and ensures that cultural diversity is celebrated and maintained for future generations. Tenth, adaptation and flexibility. In an ever-changing global landscape, individuals who are culturally aware are more adaptable and flexible. They can navigate new environments, adjust to diverse situations, and embrace change with a greater degree of ease. 
In summary, cultural awareness is not just a soft skill, it is a fundamental aspect of effective communication, cooperation, and coexistence in an increasingly interconnected world. Embracing cultural diversity promotes empathy, enriches experiences, and contributes to the development of more inclusive and harmonious societies. Lastly, consider sustainability. How can your project leave a lasting impact beyond your time on the island? Have you thought about post-project follow-ups and evaluations? Sustainability is an essential aspect we should not overlook. I will work with our team to establish a plan for monitoring and evaluating the project's long-term impact. We want our efforts to continue benefiting the community even after we've left. That is a fantastic commitment, Salsa. By focusing on long-term sustainability, your project can truly make a difference. I am confident that, with these adjustments and your dedication, your collaborative community service project will be both successful and meaningful. Thank you, Professor Martinez. Your suggestions are invaluable, and I am grateful for your guidance. We will work diligently to implement these improvements and ensure our project's success. Good morning, and thank you for contacting Riversa Corp customer service. My name is Mrs. Elia Winston, and I am here to assist you. Could you please provide your name and a brief overview of the issue you are facing with your laptop? Good morning, my name is Jack, and I recently purchased one of your laptops. Unfortunately, I have encountered a problem with its speed. I am quite concerned and not sure how to proceed. I am sorry to hear about the issue you are facing, Jack. I appreciate you bringing this to our attention. To assist you further, could you provide more details about the problem you are experiencing? This will help us better understand and address your concerns. Certainly, the problem is its speed. When I open multiple tabs, it even does not respond. I expected the laptop to be very fast, but it seems to be very slow. I am not sure if this is a common issue or if there is something specific I should do to resolve it. Thank you for sharing the details, Jack. I understand the importance of having a fully functional laptop to guide you through the next steps. I suggest the following. First, document the issue. Please take clear pictures or videos showcasing the problem you are encountering. This visual documentation will be invaluable for our technical team's assessment. Second, provide purchase information. If you have not already done it, please share your laptop serial number, your order number, and the date of purchase. This information will help us locate your order and better assist you. Third, submit a formal complaint. To initiate the resolution process, I recommend submitting a formal complaint through our online portal or by responding to this email. Include the details you have shared with me along with the visual documentation. Fourth, expect a timely response. Our technical support team will thoroughly review your complaints and aim to provide a resolution within three days. We appreciate your patience during this process. Fifth, backup important data. If applicable, please ensure that you backup any important data on your laptop before initiating the resolution process. This precautionary measure ensures the safety of your information during any potential troubleshooting or repair. Is there anything else I can assist you with at the moment, Jack? Thank you for your guidance, Mrs. Winston. I will follow your suggestions and submit the necessary information. I appreciate your assistance in resolving this matter. Thank you for your understanding, Jack. 
I'm glad to hear you are taking the necessary steps to provide us with the required information. Regarding the resolution time frame, our goal is to address and resolve your laptop issue as quickly as possible, while the exact duration can vary based on the complexity of the problem. Our typical turnaround time for technical issues is within its speed. In addition to submitting the formal complaint and documentation, here are a few other things you can expect during the resolution process. 1. Regular updates. Our customer service team will keep you informed throughout the process. You can expect regular updates on the status of your complaints and any steps we are taking to resolve the issue. 2. Technical assessment. Once we receive your documentation, our technical support team will conduct a thorough assessment of the problem. This may involve diagnostic tests to identify and understand the root cause of the issue. 3. Repair or replacement options. Depending on the severity of the problem, we will explore repair options. If necessary, we may also discuss the possibility of a replacement unit to ensure you have a fully functioning laptop. 4. Customer Satisfaction Follow-up After the resolution, our customer service team may reach out to ensure that the solution meets your expectations. Your satisfaction is our priority, and we value your feedback to continually improve our products and services. In the meantime, if you, if you have any specific concerns or requirements during the repair process, please feel free to let us know. We understand the importance of your laptop in your daily activities, and we are committed to making this resolution as smooth as possible for you. Thank you for outlining the process, Mrs. Winston. I appreciate the transparency. One more thing, I have some important work-related files on my laptop. Is there anything specific I should do to ensure the safety of my data during the repair process? Absolutely, Jack. We understand the importance of your data, and safeguarding it is a priority. Before you send in your laptop for repair, we recommend backing up your important files to an external storage device or cloud service. This will ensure that your data is secure and you can easily restore it once the laptop is returned to you. If you need guidance on the backup process or have any concerns about data security, our technical support team is available to assist you. Just let us know and we will provide step-by-step -step instructions or answer any questions you may have. Thank you for the advice. Mrs. Winston. I will make sure to back up my data before sending in the laptop. I appreciate your assistance in this matter. You're welcome, Jack. If you have any more questions, or if there is anything else we can do to assist you during this process, please do not hesitate to reach out. We appreciate your cooperation, and we are committed to resolving this issue to your satisfaction. Thank you for choosing Reversa Corp, and we look forward to ensuring your laptop meets your expectations once again.